Hey everyone, this is Max from Max Out Natural Physiques, and today on the Fitness Cook, we are going to be making mashed potatoes. Have a look. Cool. So we will be needing five main ingredients, and one of the first ingredients will be chuck tender steaks. They are fairly lean. They have 3.5 grams of fat in them and 21 grams of protein for each four ounces of raw weight, which is pretty nice. I can only find those at a Walmart neighborhood store, by the way. That especially the ones that have a nutritional label on them. Also, fat-free cream cheese, one serving of it, same thing, still at the Walmart neighborhood store. And one-eighth of a cup of unsweetened almond milk. And today I'm going to be using Brussels sprouts as my main source of uh, veggies. So let's go ahead and weigh out two servings of red potatoes. One serving is 148 grams of car, uh, 148 grams. So times two, that's what I'm gonna weigh out. Now I'm gonna start slicing them up. I'm gonna slice every piece up to be fairly the same size. So as I put them in the boiling water, once they're boiling through, all the slices could boil through at the same time. Good. Go ahead and wash them, get the dirt off of it that was in the field. Then after you're done wash the, washing them, make sure you guys are keeping some water inside the bowl so then the red potatoes don't start oxidizing and so they won't turn red, I mean uh, brown, sorry. Now with the chuck tender steaks, I'm going to weigh out 8 ounces, which will be 2 servings. So we're looking at 7 grams of fat and 42 grams of protein. Just make sure you guys don't forget to wash all the utensils that you guys use with raw meat. You guys don't want, to want any cross-contamination going on. <laughs> I guess McDonald's was good for one thing, right? Good, now that's nice and clean. Of course, use soap. And now I'm gonna season the steaks with steak seasoning. I normally use spices on everything. I try to stay away from oils. Try to keep my, my fat content for the day fairly low, especially in every single meal. Good, now I'm gonna weigh out three servings of Brussels sprouts. Gonna chop off the tips of them and slice them in half so they could cook through easily. Good, I already had the water boiling. And now I'm gonna put in some salt into the water. The salt will help bring the boiling point, uh, the boiling temperature of the water a lot higher. And of course it's gonna give me some flavor for my red potatoes. I like to use I like to use um, oil cooking spray just to because it's zero calories. But if you do use enough of it, they will start to be form. They will start to accumulate as a one one fat. But that's nothing to worry about. Good, some little bit of pepper. I try to keep my spices very limited because I like tasting my food instead of having it overpower with spices. But of course, season it to you guys' liking. Now I'm going to add in some water to it. I'm going to let the water heat up. It's going to put the cap on top so then it could basically steam through. And I'll show you guys an image of it steaming. Good, see, it's steaming. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. 
let it steam through as the red potatoes are cooking same thing still using some Pam make sure you guys are using different utensils for raw meat I try to keep my raw meat sections on one side so I'm not cross contaminating anything worst thing you can do is get sick from your own cooking right good and I normally cook each side for roughly about three minutes each on its on each side now let's let them cook So what I like doing after I'm done cooking my meats, I like putting it inside a container and I like putting in a lid on, on top. The heat will help cook it fully through. Of course the steak so it doesn't have to be at, at an extremely high temperature. So now we're going to check to see if the red potatoes are done. You just want to poke the red potatoes with a fork if they're splitting apart they're more than good. Good, go ahead and smash them through, smash them down. Now we are going to go into way out one serving of fat free cream cheese which is one ounces or 28 grams. And one eighth cup of almond milk. Fat free cream cheese and the almond milk will give a nice creamy texture and taste. It's also very healthy as well, very light on the calories, which is a plus for many of us. Good, make sure you guys are mixing it nice, mixing it fully through, get it nice and creamy. Give it a thumbs up because it's good.
Let me know what you guys think about this recipe. Yeah, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and also comment on my video and tell me what you guys thought. And I will put some A1 sauce and a little bit of onions on top just to give it a little bit more flavor, make it a little bit more appealing to the eye. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.